Hi, welcome to the Busy Gal Bi-Weekly Nugget, where we invest a few minutes twice a week to begin the work of reinventing our small businesses and our lives by highlighting and talking about topics that matter and impact you, the woman over 40 who wants to one day be a business owner. My name is Felicia Lopes, and I am the founder of Busy Gal, a company designed to empower the woman over 40 so that she can reignite herself, ignite hope through entrepreneurship, and embrace her second chance in her second chapter of life. I'm also a life coach, so consider me your reinvention specialist. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about turning your hobby into an income stream. If you're like most people, you probably dream of having a business that's enjoyable and fulfilling. Maybe the solution is to turn something you love into a way to pay the bills. You may be thinking, there's absolutely no way I can make money from my hobby. But you might be surprised. Just think, how great would it be if you could make money from the one thing that you actually choose to do when you have free time? What could be possibly better than that? You might not be able to fully replace your regular job right away. However, you could earn a few hundred dollars a month or more from something that you would be doing anyway. And that can make a big difference. The two basic routes to making money from your hobby are teach online. Someone out there would love to learn what you know. Don't make the mistake of believing that you have to be one of the world's top 10 leading experts on something in order to make money at it. Nothing can be further from the truth. If you know more about something than anyone on your street, you can certainly make money teaching others about it. Some ways to teach include, let's see, giving seminars online or in person, selling articles related to your hobby, um, writing and selling a book or an ebook, maybe one-on-one coaching, or setting up a website that provides educational information and sells related products and services. Sell a related product or service. Hobbies require supplies. Other people may be purchasing those supplies from you. If your hobby is collecting something, you can buy and sell whatever it is you collect. Or think of businesses related to your hobby. For example, if you love animals, you could sell your services as a dog sitter. If you love boats, maybe you could sell boat plans or rent boats to vacationers. Do you love design, interior decorating? Do you like to watch design shows on TV? You might not be on a television show anytime soon, but you probably know more about a decorating a house than the average family does. Certainly, you could change a few, charge a few hundred dollars for a consultation. What if fishing is your passion? How about owning a bait and tackle shop? You could be a fishing guide. You could sell fishing lures online. Do you love travel? Take lots of pictures and write about your adventures? Travel magazines and websites are always looking for good content. You could also start your own travel website. The real key is to take time to think about all the ways you could possibly make money related to your hobby. Then you can choose to do so in the most enjoyable way possible. The hardest part of getting started for most people is marketing. You must market yourself and your business to get clients or customers. So be bold. Tell your neighbors and your family members about your plans. Post an ad on Craigslist. Make a website. People have to know you're out there so they can hire you or purchase from you, right? Imagine the excitement you'll feel the first time you cash that check by doing something you used to do for free. Once you make a little money from your hobby, the wheels will really start turning and you'll be surprised at all the other ideas that come to your mind. Start today by making a list of all the ways you could possibly make money at your hobby. Have fun and good luck. 
If you enjoyed this episode, I invite you to take a moment and sign up to receive the Busy Gal bi-weekly affirmation inspiration in your inbox. A new affirmation comes out every Monday and Thursday. The link to receive these bi-weekly affirmations is below this video in the description area. Affirmations are simply statements that are designed to create self-change in the individual using them. They can serve as inspiration, as well as simple reminders to keep you on track for success in life. They also can serve to focus your attention onto your goals throughout the day, which in and of itself has the potential to promote positive and sustained self-change. Now, people use affirmations for a variety of purposes. Generally speaking, affirmations are used to reprogram the subconscious mind to encourage us to believe certain things about ourselves, about the world, and our place within it. Starting at the end of this year, Busy Gal Television, also known as BGTV, will launch. For those of you who have businesses that would benefit from shows being created and developed for and about your brand, reach out to me at Felicia M. Lopes at BusyGalCorp.com. And let's begin a conversation today. Also, look out for my new show, Reinvent You, which will highlight the lives of women who've gone through life or business storms and come out successful on the other side. To find out more information, just check out Busy Gal Television or go to BusyGalTV.com. I look forward to seeing you on our next episode of the Busy Gal Bi-Weekly Nugget, where I will be talking about how to build your self-esteem through reinvention. If you enjoyed this video and the hardcore information that I shared with you today, please subscribe to my Busy Gal channel and share this video with your friends, your family, anyone you think could benefit from hearing this message. You can find the subscribe and share buttons below this video. Until then, stay fierce, stay strong, and know that for the woman over 40, reinvention is not an option. It's mandatory.